Albert Bouchard, Reimaginos, released November the 6th, 2020. Well, it's taken over 50 years for this project, stroke album, to come to fruition. Yes, there was a version released as a Blue Oyster Cult album way back there in 1988, but if you listen to Albert talk about the record, it's a kind of a mishmash. It's not the record Albert wanted to put out, nor is it a true Blue Oyster Cult record. It should have been Albert's first solo album. Albert jokingly says he's been bugged by fans for decades to revisit it. And finally, in 2020, we have it. But is it any good? Yes, it most certainly is. It's a work of genius. It's a dark, strange, gothic masterpiece. So who or what is Imaginos? Sandy Perman, in an interview with Kerrang! magazine, September 1988, says basically it's an interpretation of history, an explanation for the onset of World War I, or a revelation of the occult origins of it. Imaginos is the main character, and is what I call an actor in history. He plays different roles in history and was born as a modified child, modified by an alien influence, and his mission is to present the human race with the challenge of evil. The aliens are playing with our history as if it's a game, and he motivates the game and presents the choices to the human race. They react as they will. The imagery and mythology of Imaginos has been woven into the fabric of the Blue Oyster Cult since day one. Over the years I've read many interpretations of the Imaginos saga, and it's very involved and complicated. But what I personally think, like the songs that make up this album, Reimaginos, and many in the Blue Oyster Cult history, is that they leave it up to the listener to make their own interpretation of the song. Sometimes the song's lyrics are very vague and it's, I think it's all left up to the listener to make his or her own interpretation of that song. For me personally, I think the Blue Oyster Cult songs and the songs on this album that are linked into Imaginos are like fragments of a dream. And sometimes they're so clear and other times they're just tantalizingly out of reach. So let's get on to Imaginos. And what makes this album so, so good is the quality of the songs. And what I also love about this album is what I love about all my favorite records. The more you play them, the more they reveal their colors and nuances. Track one, I am the one you warn me of. This has got to be one of my all time favorite song titles. How can you go wrong with a song title like that? This is the song for me that reveals Imaginos. Fresh from zones of moisture and afterwards the meat with spangles on my long-tailed suits and songs to haunt the one that's saved. Just call me Destinova, I'm sure to be the lucky one. When destiny assigns wisdom, known to me the starry wisdom, I am the one you warn me of. Albert's taken it down a notch or two from the hard rock in 1988 version and that just adds to the sinister menace of the song. One thing you will notice from the very beginning of this album is the instrumentation, sparse, no clutter. On a foundation of acoustic guitars, drums and bass, add on top organ and piano and some searing lead guitar. Like the original, it goes through the same lovely rhythmic twists and turns. I am the one you warned me of. I am the one who'd never, never lie. Track two, Del Rio's song. Now, this is one track on the 1988 version I didn't like. It just didn't grab me. Here though, it's a different story. This 2020 version is again slowed down and it allows the essence of the song and melody to really make itself known. Imaginos has joined the crew of a ship traveling through the Yucatan Peninsula, but while passing through the Gulf of Mexico, the ship encounters a freak storm of which Imaginos's visions failed to warn him. Del Rio's song has an intro that sounds like a ringer for Springsteen and the E Street Band. My destination is a secret and the doctrine is soft. And just between the verse and me is a place where you can see 
lost at last and luminous, scored to sky yet never found, relics of jewels and antrac tools, a true ghost dance, rehearsal ground. One thing I've loved about Albert's songwriting over the years is how original he is. Nothing quite sounds like an Albert Bouchard song. He packs his songs with great melodies, hooks and great counterpoints. Listen to all the rhythmic twists and turns and all the changes of tempo. It's another beauty. In the presence of another world. The track opens with just piano, electric and acoustic guitar and it's a masterclass in how to create atmosphere in a song. It always transports me to some alien landscape, black ash soil under my feet, two moons floating in an alien sky lit by some distant, distant sun. In the presence of another world, you guess the things unguessed. In the fullness of another world, there is no emptiness. In the promise of another world, a dreadful knowledge comes, how even space can modulate and earthly things be done. One minute, 24 seconds in, off we go, with a riff played by bass, piano and acoustic guitar, and an electric laying down some incendiary leads. Your master is a monster. Sings Albert, backed by what sounds like an alien choir. Two minutes, 50 seconds, Albert slows it all down again, and we're back to the atmospherics of the beginning of the song. Then some lovely fretless bass takes us back to the alien chorus which seems to have grown in number. Your master is a monster. In come the other instruments and they take us on a wonderful thrilling ride to the finale of the song. Just check out Albert's stellar drumming on this track. It's phenomenal. Your master is a monster and gentlemanly too. He'll make for us some new germ with pieces of the perfect black the Alpha and Omega, the double peaks of Mars, the maze of his infinity, the buried city in the stars. Next up, the siege and investiture of Baron von Frankenstein's castle at Wasseria. That trips off the tongue really easily, doesn't it? The piece kicks off with some manic piano, percussion and acoustic guitar. At 22 seconds, in comes a beautiful ethereal violin. On the terminal point of the cul-de-sac, patients are dying, the horses are dazed from the glare of the stars, the starry wisdom owned by the Baron, and he's got the cure. A drug by the name of World Without End. A drug by the name of World Without End. Two minutes in, and the band changed tempo, and Albert and company take us on a rocking lead guitar fueled ride. Mr. Bouchard, though now in his 70s, has lost none of his abilities to rock and roll hard. 2 minutes 50 seconds, all the musicians drop out and we're just left with strings and percussion. Carpe diem, he was me and I was called Frankenstein. He was me and I was called Frankenstein. Worlds without end. By now, I'm there. I'm walking up that snow covered hill, I've got my torch in hand, I can see the castle there in front of me. This is great magical songwriting. Ian Pace, Deep Purple's drummer, said the other day, he said it was so difficult to come up with new ideas within western rock music, as it was so limiting. But Mr Bouchard, you've done it, and you've done it in style. Track number five, the girl who love made blind. So what do we need right now on this album? How about a waltz? But not quite a waltz as we know it. It's a love song which explains Imaginos' ability to move through time. But does Imaginos' love physically make the girl blind or is she blind to who Imaginos really is? Close your eyes and you can imagine the two dancing between worlds between dimensions. It's strange, beautiful and very, very magical. Track number six, Astronomy. But if you were wondering what Albert could do with this classic that hasn't already been done, 
Take a listen. He really does reinvent it. Sandy Perlman's original idea for the song was very stripped down instrumentally, very sparse. Albert uses on this album, and particularly on this track, these eight string baritone guitars, which create this unique sound. It's, dare I say it, otherworldly. Albert really does reinvent this track, and he brings out all the colours and beauty of this song. And it's just majestic. Next track, Imagine Us. Now, this was a song on the 1988 Imagine Us album that I didn't care for at all. It all sounded a bit cluttered and all a bit artificial. But here, Albert slowed it right down and it's all the better for it. He's absolutely transformed this song. Here, as is the case through the whole album, the backing vocals are just excellent. The song lopes along telling the story of Imaginos and his powers and ability to shapeshift, accompanied by some very Hank Marvin leads and Joe Bouchard's trumpet playing. Albert's always said that he loves marching drums and at 2 minutes 56 seconds that's exactly what we get. Checking the sign of the moon fleet, roll your wheel with mine. Sometimes in the light of day the truth proves hard to find. Actually this bizarro was Imaginos in disguise. Which leads us in to an absolutely magnificent Joe Bouchard trumpet solo, which sounds, the only way I can describe it, it sounds very much like the good, the bad and the ugly. Gil Blanco County. As the song begins with acoustic guitar sounding exactly like Love's Alone Again or By design or accident, I don't know. But then the song transforms into real old sounding country and western. Very different from the Stork Forest group or Albert's Imaginos demo tape. Albert double tracking his vocals to great effect. Bad oats in town. The word went out. So my horse and me we left town. Rode my palomino down. Got caught in a storm in Gil Blanco County. It rained so hard said Indian Joe. He knows all there is to know. It should wash the face of the earth and make us clean again. Though I don't think Hank Williams or Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys would ever have sounded anything quite like this. The next two tracks, Black Telescope and The Blue Oyster Cult, I've covered in another video which there will be a link for in the description. So Black Telescope and The Blue Oyster Cult, there'll be a link to my video on those on reviewing those two tracks in the description. Next up, Magma of Illusion. Imaginos, now realizing that he's being guided by aliens, sets sail aboard a charm ship on August the 1st, 1892, which despite storms on land and storms at sea, delivers him faithfully to Mexico. After several months exploring the jungles of the Yucatan, he finds an undiscovered Mayan pyramid. Following a long passage into the interior of the pyramid, he discovers a chamber carved from solid jade, in which he finds the Magna of Illusion, a magic mirror. Stealing away with the artifact, he returns to Cornwall, a year to the day of his departure, which coincides with the tenth birthday of his granddaughter. Imaginos gives the mirror to the young girl as a birthday present, and for the following 21 years it sits collecting dust in her attic, silently poisoning the minds of European leaders. In 1914, World War I breaks out, a disease with a long incubation. Now, just one point here. I read oh, many years ago that there were going to be three Imaginos albums, and where this story just ended, the beginning of World War One in 1914, that's where they said the second album starts and there was a projected track list for the second album and the third album. And at some point, what I would do is make a small video and I'll look at the tracks that possibly could be included on a second album and a third album. And I really hope that happens because the risk of repeating myself, this album is absolutely magnificent. And so sadly, we come to the final track, Les Invisibles. Now, the way you finish a classic album 
is you end with an absolute corker of a song. And this is it. Swirls of synth take us into a ticking, menacing rhythm. Add on top some heavy reverb guitar and I'm in heaven. Along the world axis, the Empress lay sleeping to the rhyme of the star clock. Seven sleepers, seven stages, seven ladders to the seventh heaven. Albert sings and on some of the lines there's an echo on his voice and he's doing call and response vocals with that echo and at the same time you've got this eerie chant of seven, seven, seven going on in the background. It is just mind blowing. Two minutes, 15 seconds in, we get more of that incredible guitar playing. I don't know who the player is, but he is some player, accompanied by Albert's rhythm playing. Salute the four quarters before I leave your eyes. Twinned in the mirror, Le Masters come. End me adoration before I leave your eyes. World in the mirror, waters of amnesia to come. The song twists and turns with one great melody after another and it's got hooks to die for. I tell you what, if I had music like this on a regular basis, I wouldn't leave the house. <laughs> I'd just be sitting there playing stuff like this because this is on another level. So that's my long and detailed review of Reimagine Us and I hope everybody goes out and buys it and it becomes a huge hit because I want to hear volume two, I want to hear volume three and if there's a volume four I'd like to hear that as well because stuff like this comes along once in a blue moon and this is just a classic record. It's brilliantly constructed, it's brilliantly played and my, my hat I'm taking on my hat right now. I'm going to take it on my hat to Albert because this is brilliant. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Stay well. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.